Hello everybody, this is Learning English with Carlos and Ramonono, and here I, <coughs> here I am. Uh, unfortunately, Ramonono is not here because he had to do something. Actually, uh, his heart is broken into pieces, and he is in a situation, as you can see over here, and he asked me these two things. What can I do? What should I do? I told him a couple of ideas. I told him that um, you can talk to that person again. Uh, you can go out with your friends. You can come to my house and we can talk about it. We can play some video games. But also I told him that he should uh, talk to her again. That he should, uh, that sh he shouldn't make drastic decisions I told him that he shouldn't be alone which is okay but he shouldn't be all by himself so I gave him a couple of options but also I gave him some suggestions and that's why today my friends we have can versus should can versus should the first thing that we have to know is that you shouldn't pronounce should incorrectly. Uh, should, as you can see here, or listen, the L doesn't sound. So you will say should, 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 should. Well, you know our famous can over here. So, um... What can I do? What should I do? What's the difference between these two modal verbs? Well, the first thing is that can is for options. Can is for options. This one, this one, alternatives. Option A, option B. You can go to the park. You can go to the, to the disco. Options. Let's take a look at these situations. Here we have, I am bored. I am bored. That is the situation. So I will tell you, well, you can play video games. You can play video games. That is an option. You can uh, go out with your friends. You can talk to some of your friends. You can do some homework. Um, well, yeah, it works for some people. Options. I'm giving you options. But maybe um, I want you to follow some of my suggestions, some of my recommendations. So in that case, I would say I would use should. And I would say well, you should read a book. It's a good idea. I like to do that. Uh, you should go out with your friends. Uh, it's beneficial for you, some social interactions. You should go out with your friends. You should, uh, maybe, I would say, you should play video games. You can use the same idea. You can play video games. You should play video games. That depends on you. Are you giving it as an option? Are you giving it as a suggestion? It's up to you. Here we have, she is tired. And here we would say options. She can go to sleep. As you can see over here, you don't have uh, goes. When you have can over here, you're going to use the verb in the base form. Base base form meaning that you just write the verb as it comes it doesn't matter if you have she he it they you i it will always be in the base form after can or after should so again she's tired she can go to sleep she can watch a movie she can she can drink some tea she can drink some coffee etc 
options. But maybe that is something that I really would like her to do, my, my suggestions. And then I would say uh, she should drink some vitamins for that energy, for keeping it. She should drink some vitamins or she should uh, rest some more. She shouldn't do so much during the day. Um, my ideas. Also, we can go with he can uh, here. He got a low grade in math. He got a low grade in math. You know, math, mathematics. Maybe the person got a, a 60 out of 100. So he can practice more at home. You know, math requires a lot of practice. Um, or uh, he can gather with or get together with some friends and, and interact, discuss the information. I would also say shouldn't because you can also use it in negative. Should not or shouldn't. That is the abbreviation here. Shouldn't. He shouldn't get distracted in class. You know, sometimes we are with our friends, we're a little tired and we start talking with, uh, with them, and then we don't pay much attention to what the teacher is illustrating us about, and we just don't pay attention. So you shouldn't get distracted in class. You should focus more. Um, they plan to visit my city. They plan to visit my city. Well, they can go shopping. Um, they can go to all the rivers they can they can go to the pool they can go bicycling etc but i think that they should bring me a present that is my recommendation my suggestion they should bring me a present so here we have again should can they are what we call model verbs. The, um, why is it important to know that they are, they are model verbs? Because after a model verb, you will use the verb in the base form. So here, she can go, she should drink, he shouldn't drink. Okay. The second thing is with the pronunciation, should, 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 can, should, should, the L here. Okay, the L doesn't sound, should. And negative form, you can say, should not, or shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't shouldn't, shouldn't, should, shouldn't, should not. Um, we have can, cannot, cannot, or or just can't, can't, can't. Since we're giving options, we regularly use this uh, affirmatively. We don't use it in the negative way. We don't usually uh, use it that way. So, options, suggestions. So, let's get back to our friend Ramonono. So, Ramonono had a heartbreak. His relationship is over. Uh, so he has many options. He can stay at home alone. He can go out with friends. He can stay with relatives. He can read a book. He can watch movies. He can eat ice cream. He can listen to music, etc. But I think, I think that he should go out. He should go out with friends. He shouldn't be alone. It's not a good idea. He shouldn't listen to sad music. 
And is the girl, if the girl is a really good girl, a really good woman, I think that he should talk to her and maybe they can find the solution to the problem. So guys, you can read book, books for, learn, for improving your English. You can uh, do some exercises. You can do many things, but always remember that you should uh, follow us uh, learning English with Carlos and Ramonona. Thank you.